Hi, I'm David Lawrence, and I'm gonna show you how to make a dessert to die for. It's a chocolate cake with fleur de sel caramel filling and a dark chocolate ganache. So the first step to making this cake is we're gonna to put together the caramel sauce. So I'm gonna add in some sugar, and to that I'm gonna add in a little bit of water, and just a touch of light corn syrup, and we're gonna stir this over high heat just until the mixture dissolves. Okay, so now the caramel is nice and golden amber, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of heavy cream. Now this is the part where you wanna really be careful because when you add this to the mixture, it's gonna bubble up pretty violently. So stir in the butter, then we're gonna add in the creme fraiche and a little bit of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Stir that off the heat just until it becomes this beautiful golden caramel sauce. So now it's time to make the ganache for the cake. I've got a pound and a half of chocolate here. This is three quarters of a pound of bittersweet chocolate, three quarters of a pound of semi-sweet chocolate. I just personally like that mix. So I'm gonna add a couple of tablespoons of light corn syrup to this. And I've got my cream scalding here. Now scalding just means that the heavy cream has been brought to just below the boil. Um, it's really important that you don't boil the cream because it'll curdle. So I'm just gonna pour this over the chopped up chocolate. And as you can see, that immediately starts to melt it down. And we're gonna whisk this together. And it's going to become this beautiful, glossy chocolate ganache. Okay, so now it's time to make this beautiful chocolate cake. And what I love about this cake batter is that it's really simple. It's not much harder than a box cake mix because we've got our dry ingredients ready to go. And now we're gonna add in our wet ones. I'm gonna add in a stick of melted butter. I'm gonna add in two eggs a cup of milk, whole milk, and I've got a tablespoon of instant espresso powder, which I've dissolved into a cup of warm water. Now this is a really, really wet batter. Don't let that alarm you. It makes for a perfectly moist cake. Okay, so now we're gonna put together this cake. This is the best part, except for the eating. We're gonna start with a little bit of the ganache, and we're gonna spread this over the first layer, and I'm gonna just pipe a ring around the edge of this to hold in the caramel filling, which is gonna go next. Spread this out using the back of a spoon. Just push it all the way to the edges. Make sure every bite has a little bit of that caramel sauce. So now I'm gonna take my toasted chopped almonds and I'm gonna sprinkle just a small handful evenly over the top of this layer and then the fleur de sel. Now, if you're a little weirded out by the thought of salt and chocolate, don't be. I mean, it makes perfect sense. Have you ever had a chocolate dip pretzel or maple syrup on your bacon? It's the perfect combination of sweet and savory. And now we're gonna finish the whole thing off with this beautiful chocolate ganache. So I'm gonna lightly spoon this over the top, lightly, who am I kidding? I'm gonna spoon this over the top, and it's a little messy, but it's entirely worth it. Wait until you taste this thing. So now the cake is done, and we're gonna garnish this thing with some chopped almonds, and just gently press them into the sides of the cake. And now our finishing touch on this beautiful cake is a little pinch of fleur de sel. And that, my friends, is a cake to die for. So give this recipe a try, and let me know what you think. Get more recipes at goodbite.com.